Hey guys, JH, welcome to Practice Tea. Okay. Today I'm going to show you something that I actually used when I first started playing golf because I didn't know anything about golf, but I knew a lot about biomechanics and the body dynamics and how to produce um, storage and energy within the the human uh, body component mechanism. I knew that because of other sports I was involved in and other training and um, and research that I'd been involved in. And so when I first started applying I was what I would term a natural accumulator in that I just basically use the golf club as I would anything, any implement or device or whatever where I wanted to store some energy and then get that device to to let that energy go into the golf ball or into anything else that you were using that device for. Now to me it was very simplistic because I was right handed, right side dominant and in, in any other process it was always store it expend it. And what I did guys for the first couple of months was basically stand still, pick the golf club up with what I term just a bicep curl. I usually just went like that with my right hand, my right arm here, stood still and fired it. But what I did was I took the club back looking at the ball, square to square. And the club went back like that. Just folded my bicep here. And then as I brought it down, I kept it looking at the ball. Absolute square to square. No rotation at all. And as a consequence of that, the lead hand always came into the ball like that. Down and turning down. It was... You could say the, the the face is just square. You could call it shut. You can say whatever you like, but it was just square to there, bicep curl. Then I just kept that angle there, and then just turned that left hand down through the through the shot. And I used to, and I could hit it further than any any of the guys I played with, quite a long way, because I was really quite an athlete in those days and very strong and very. Um, had very very quick uh, muscle groups and I was strong and I was using my strength just folding it and just smashing it and I hit the ball great but like everything because I wasn't familiar with um, the processes of golf and the and the general considered accepted mechanics and dynamics of golf I went away from my natural instinct golf swing to the traditionally upheld um, consensus of how a golf swing is supposed to work. But I've got to tell you guys, I used to absolutely hammer it. And straight. Just, and with those old golf clubs. So today I'm just going to try and revisit that if I can. And what it really amounts to is just standing still here, just taking it back with the, lead, the, the trail arm, which is in most cases the dominant arm, just folding the bicep here, standing still, keeping the club face looking at the ball, and then just straightening that, that trail arm with the lead arm, with the lead hand, just going like that, like I was going to go bang on top of the golf ball because the face is like that. I want the face to actually come in and do that on the golf ball because that's what I thought you had to do. And when I think about it, maybe that is what we have to do. Why would you take a, a, a golf club 
that was looking at the golf ball there to in the backswing being 90 degrees not looking at it and get it to here and then have to re-rotate and get it back from 90 degrees to square. Why wouldn't you just keep it looking at the golf ball? And don't worry about any extension, just fold that trail arm up, just bicep curl it. And don't worry about all the associated um, having to clear the hips to stand up and fire that golf club face at the golf ball as square as you can. So for the traditionalists this would be shut to shut. Absolutely shut to shut. To shut or to square. I don't know how you could say the club's shut when it's square. If, if it's square at, at, at address and it's in the same position at the top of the swing, then it's got to be still square. How can it not be? That's just terminology that's been used over the years to describe a square club face as opposed to an open club face. And of course, I never worried about what this was going to do. All I wanted to do was fold this up with the club face looking at it and move to it and get on top of it so I could hit it as hard as I could. Get on top of it. I didn't want to get behind it. If I was going to hit something as hard as I could, I'd be going there. I wouldn't be going there. I never wanted to stay back there. I wanted to go there. And guys, it was just an absolute hammering process. And simple. Just fold this up. Just fold the bicep up. It's just a bicep curl. Now I was just thinking about it while I was having a, a coffee with a buddy of mine a while ago. We were just talking about the old days and he started late in golf too. I know I never hit a golf ball, I was 34. And he started late too. And, um, and he, he said, and he became a very good player. And he said he had the same, he was self-taught, he said I had exactly the same uh, line of thinking when I when I started playing golf and I tried to keep the face looking at the ball just took it up folded the the trail arm because that was the feeling of power that was not a feeling of power but that was and just stood still and just hammered it a bit like this First shot of the day, it's gone miles, absolute miles. So guys, why wouldn't you play like this? They were dead straight, perfectly hit, not thinking about clearing my body, anything, just doing that. There's another one. Now that's a, that, that is that's relative to Mo Norman, that's frozen rope. Because the club's doing this, guys. That's what it's doing. It's doing that. It's actually coming in and doing that. Not thinking about clearing the legs not thinking about anything with the body just taking it up and just smashing the club down on top of the ball whatever my legs do they do couldn't care less just so straight what could be simpler than that and of course that's a hinging action as opposed to a cocking action and the forearm doesn't roll. Just goes back like that. Well, it doesn't do anything. Just goes here, and the hand just does that. <laughs> Very much like a wood chopping action. And the old term, he's a chopper. Well, 
I was a chopper when I first started, but boy, I could really hit it. And, and it was a wood chopping type golf swing. Guys, I can't hit it better than that. And I, and I can't develop any more power than that. That guy from uh, Texas, from Beaumont, Texas, that was a bit of a sensation on the on YouTube a couple of years ago, Lee Como. That's how he hits it, and he's such a powerful hitter. It's a guy that breaks shafts on the downswing with his driver. He jams it so much. But Lee just bicep curls it. That really strong guy, but just absolutely bicep curls it and just hammers it. And of course, the, the crazy thing here, guy, this is just this. This is just taking the club up here and going bang. Like that. With the back of the hand, that wristband, straight on top of the ball. Whatever my legs do, they do. I don't think about them. I only think about bicep curling and, and keeping the face looking at the ball. Now that's three shots in a five yard circle. Maybe not even that. They really are just dead straight. And I'm banished to the cow paddock again today, guys. Four inches of rough. It's good hitting long irons out of the rough. I mean, you've got to really hit it. That makes you uh, commit to the shot. So I'm not worried about anything. I'm just going to take the club up, bicep curl it. And just hammer it. What could be simpler than that? Keep the club looking at the ball. Here. If I could actually keep my elbow there without it coming away from my body and get my my forearm as close to here as I can, I'd really generate some power. But because I've got you know millions of shots of a conventional golf swing with extension, it's very hard to do that. Very hard to uh, to get away from that. I've still got that. But even though I've got that little bit of extension, I've got a bicep curl and I'm just keeping the face looking at the ball. I've got to tell you guys, and you hear it plenty of times from me, but I can't hit the ball better than that. And I've never hit the ball better than that. And it just goes dead straight. I mean, it's just ridiculous how straight it goes. Well, if you think about it, if you don't have any forearm rotation in the golf swing, and you don't have the face going from looking at the ball here to looking over there, 90 degrees open to it, we've got to get it from there back to here. Okay, you can do that with a pivot. Hogan did that. But we're not all Hogan's. Most people just have a, a rolling motion to get it back. Well, I don't. I've just got a hammer motion. I just take it up here and then just hammer it. Bang! My back, the back of my uh, lead hand and the club face are one. Now guys, that's really hit hard. Really hit hard. There's so much of this action. If you go on the internet and, and, and pull up The Four Magic Moves of Golf, a book that was written by Joe Dante, this is essentially what Joe did. Joe had the club looking at the ball, he just cocked it off the ball like that with this wrist action here. The right wrist or the trail wrist just did that. Face looked at the ball, he took it to the top and he held it there. That's all he tried to do. Doesn't talk much about, doesn't talk at all about bicep curling, but that was his, his hand action and his club face position. He was square to square. Absolute square to square. Now guys, they're really powerful shots. 
Very powerful shots. But how simple is this? I don't even know what my legs are doing. I couldn't care less. But by doing that, normally if you get out here and you hit as hard as you can with that trail arm and hand, because the club's away from you there, uh, and, and, and it's out here, it's a bit out of control, it's, sure, there's a chance you'll come over it, but when you've got it in here nice and tight, and here, and you're just going straight down at the ball with, with that square club face, you won't come over it. I mean, those shots are dead straight. There's no over those at all. There's another one. Now I feel my body's doing stuff because there's a lot of energy in the shot. And it's really hard hitting this four iron out of uh, rough. But, but the good thing is I'm developing a lot of power with this, with this action that it just, it just goes straight through the, uh, through the grass. Club's coming down on the ball. Well, guys, without exaggeration, that could be the best four iron that I've hit in 20 years. Might be the best four iron I've hit since I started playing golf. Because that's how I used to hit them, even with those old golf clubs of the old days. I started out with a set of spalling top flights when I first started playing. Whole set of blades, wonder sand iron, blades about that big. And I could hit the one iron like you wouldn't believe with this action, because I didn't know any better. I didn't know you weren't supposed to be able to hit one irons. Everybody was scared of them. I didn't, I just smashed it. I was pretty strong and quite athletic, but, but I just kept the club looking at the ball. What could be simpler than that guy? Just gonna turn it here. This is the action, here. That's what it looks like, we just, we just do that. Look where the club face is. Here, then fold the bicep. Hammer it. Develops a lot of, a lot of power. I, f I feel a bit, I feel a bit out of control, because I, I've got so much down in the shot. I normally don't have a lot of down. I have a lot of forward. But there's lots of down in this shot, in this swing. Can't hit it better than that. So guys, it's um, I just call. I don't know what I could call it. Just stand still, cock the, just hinge the wrist like that, keep the face looking at the ball, bicep curl, the trail arm, then just straighten the trail arm with the lead hand just going straight down on top of the ball as if you're going to bash the ball with the back of your left hand, which is essentially the club face. It, it, it is the club face. See if we can do a good job. So much zip at the bottom. So much zip at the bottom. I wouldn't uh, suggest <laughs> learning with a, uh, a four iron, but get, just get an eight iron. Easy to, to bicep curl a, a short iron. Just get an eight iron.
is uh, eight iron that's gone seven iron distance. Very strong, very strong action, guys. Very strong action. There's eight iron gone <laughs> seven and a half iron distance. That's, that's 20 in the air longer than my normal eight iron. 20. And I'm not getting as much bicep curl as I want because I've still got extension in my golf swing from, as I say, from all those other shots that I've hit. But I'm definitely keeping the club face looking at the golf ball. Guys, that's just so long for an eight iron. For me. Just dead flush center. Okay guys, I, uh, I don't know what we're gonna call it and I don't even know what it is. But there's just so much potential in this here. Um, it will just uh, take a break and I'll, and I'll hit a few shots down the line and maybe you can see the club face. <laughs> 